Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarba Fatah. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today the 120 km junior and senior endurance race of His Majesty the King's Cup as well as the local and international qualifying 80 km and 40 km races organized by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation brief. Upon His Majesty's arrival, he was received by the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association and founder of the Khaldiya Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the Chairman of Brief, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and a number of members of the Federation's Board of Directors who welcomed His Majesty, hailing the visit that expressed his support and encouragement of the equestrian sport. His Honor Sheikh Nasser briefed His Majesty on the races stages and the number of riders participating, noting that Brief had made all the arrangements and preparations for them to participate in the race. The Vice President of the International Equestrian Federation and President of the 7th Arabian Group, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, honored His Honor Sheikh Nasser with the 7th Arabian Group Award for the Best Arab Rider of the Year 2016 upon His Highness's winning third place in the World Endurance Championship in Slovakia. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation for the award, wishing the group's president further success. His Majesty the King was presented with commemorative gifts. His Majesty also held talks with the riders, wishing them success in the race. His Majesty then watched the race's competitions, and on this occasion, His Majesty the King congratulated all the winning riders on the positive results they have achieved. He commended the continuing efforts of their Highnesses, Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid in developing the endurance sports. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the Federation's president and members of organizing the race and developing this traditional sport, praising the outstanding participation and success of riders from the United Arab Emirates in the race, which highlights the deep-rooted and brotherly relations between the two countries in various sports and youth fields. He also expressed appreciation to the Bahraini riders for the positive results they achieved in the race and various other races, thanking everyone for their contributions to the success of the race and wishing them further success. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then honored the winners in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, Sheikh Faisal and the President of the Endurance Committee, Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa.
ابو حمد ناموس والله لنا ناموس لنا الحمد لله والله ان احنا فرحانين ومتنومسين الحمد لله الحمد لله طول العمر الاداء المرحله الاخيره كانت صعبه و... الحمد لله على كل حال ممشى وتنافس ويعني محك حقيقي بين ابطال وبين خيل تسوى وهذا الحمد لله طلع من ضمن الابطال وصف روحه من ضمن الابطال وشرفنا في البحرين ومثل ما صرحت لك امس بتفوزون بس مو بالساهل والله العظيم يا ابو حمد انه مو بالساهل حتى في الاستديو كانوا يتكلمون الفوز كان حاطين العين على الحصان اللي عندك لانه ما شاء الله كان منطلق وكان متصدر المرحله قدامه يحاولون يدفعون يدفعون رغم انه واحد بند تميتوا على واحد تميتوا. الحمد لله الحمد لله على كل حال ترى انا رافعين الراس اليوم ومستانسين والله يعلم الله ان احنا فرحانين جدا بهالاداء هذا هاي شيء مو بغريب ترى صراحه اليوم عليك طول العمر وعلى الملك حضوره ولما شفناه اليوم هذا هذا روح كم يستدر هذا ناموس ما في شيء غريب اليوم الفوز لكم والمنافسه والشريفه والحك اللي وياكم دائما يجي من البر. نحن واحد طول العمر ناموسك ناموسنا يا طويل مشكور يا مشكور ما قصرت مشكور مشكور طبعا نعم المركز الثالث ألف مبروك لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة مع الفرس منصور سعيد من ام ار ام هذا الانتصار الرائع والعودة إلى منصات التتويج عبر بوابة لرزك يعني من خلال انتصار رائع وهذا الجواد الرائع من خلال فوزه في بطولة سيد الوالد حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه المركز الثاني مشاهدينا الكرام يذهب إلى فريق فيكتوريز مع فارس الغربية جعفر ميرزا نبارك لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد بن عيسى الخليفة على هذا الانتصار وحصولهم المركز الثالث بتحدي رائع نعم مشاهدينا الكرام هذا هو جعفر ميرزا والحاصل على المركز الثاني نعم وانتصار رائع والمركز الأول مشاهدينا الكرام يذهب أيضا إلى M7 مع راشد المزروعي ألف مبروك لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة وأيضا حضور المدرب محمد السبوسي نبارك لصاحب السمو الشيخ محمد بن راشد المكتوم نائب رئيس دولة الإمارات رئيس مجلس الوزراء حاكم دبي على هذا الانتصار وحكام دولة الإمارات وهذا الانتصار الرائع The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the 120 km Junior and Senior Endurance Race of His Majesty the King's Cup, organized by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, with the participation of a number of royal team equestrians, local staples, and participants from the United Arab Emirates, the UAE. On this occasion, Zahana Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his patronization of the race, which motivated all participants to give a better performance, affirming His Majesty the King's support to the sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pleasure in the level of performance presented in the race, pointing out that its success was due to the participants' high performance. He also affirmed that the participants' performances reflect the competitiveness for His Majesty the King's Cup, which has become one of the strongest international races. He congratulated the winner 
Partners and expressed appreciation for the efforts of all organizing committees. The founder of Khaldiya Staples, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, pointed out that the race has witnessed great success under the patronage of His Majesty the King, the biggest supporter of endurance sports in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the royal team, local staples, and UAE participation, commending their high level performance. He praised the efforts of the organizing committee and brief chaired by Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa and congratulated the winners. Sheikh Faisal expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his patronization of the race, affirming Brief's keenness on organizing an outstanding race under the directives of Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad. Chief of Terror Crime Prosecution Advocate General Ahmed Al Hamadi has revealed the existence of a terrorist organization comprising of 54 members. The organization includes 12 defendants in Iran and Iraq, another one in Germany, and 41, including the 10 convicts who had escaped from prison in Bahrain. Al Hamadi added that 25 members of the cell who had carried out acts of terror had been arrested and that the investigations by the public prosecution were still going on. He said that the public prosecution had received a report from the General Director of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science on the search and investigation efforts regarding the escape of 10 convicts from the Reform and Rehabilitation Center in Jao on January 1, 2017, and which resulted in the death of a policeman from the prison guards force. He stated that the investigations revealed that the movements of the terrorists to other countries were coordinated by one of these cell leaders based in Germany. He made the arrangements for several members to go to Iran and Iraq to receive training in the use of explosives and firearms at the Revolutionary Guard camps ahead of carrying out their terrorist crimes in Bahrain. Al Hamadi added that the leaders and members of the organization had prepared and made plans for a number of terrorist crimes in order to disrupt public order, endanger the safety of the kingdom, put its security at risk, undermine national unity, and obstruct public authorities from carrying out their work. The public prosecution inspected the crime scenes, confiscated all the seized items and ordered the competent technical authorities to examine the evidence and draft reports. Al Hamadi added that security authorities arrested several suspects in accordance with the provisions of the law that protects society from acts of terrorism. The suspects were referred to the public prosecutor who questioned them in accordance with the prescribed legal procedures. 
The Advocate General said that the investigations and the confessions of the suspects revealed the facts about the establishment of the terrorist organization and its composition, as well as how the fugitives in Iran and Iraq communicated with its members in the kingdom, in the prison and outside to recruit other elements and provide them with explosives, firearms and ammunition of various kinds that had been smuggled into the country. The members provided them with plans to commit terrorist operations, the means to prepare their implementation, the weapons and explosives, as well as means to film them with drones to broadcast them for propaganda purposes. Al Hamadi said that the breakout from the Reform and Rehabilitation Center in Jaw was planned in order to enable the terror convicts to escape and carry out attacks in Bahrain and for some of them to go abroad and join the organization leaders in Iran and Iraq. In the shooting of a policeman in the Bani Jamra area case, the investigations revealed that the terrorist crime was committed by a number of the organization members who were not among the prison fugitives. The attack was committed as part of the organization's activities under the instructions of its leaders abroad to disrupt public order and to target policemen. Al Hamadi stressed that the murder of a police officer in the Bilad al Qadim area was plotted by one of the organization's leaders in Iran and a member in Bahrain. Regarding the case of resisting the authorities and shooting police officers in Bahrain's territorial waters, Al Hamadi said that it was in the context of an attempt to smuggle 10 accused members of the organization abroad. The individuals being smuggled out included a convicted fugitive. From from the jail prison, three who participated in carrying out the jailbreak, and the organization members who killed the police officer. The investigations resulted in the seizure of large quantities of explosives, detonators, grenades, firearms, atom automatic machine guns, guns and ammunition. Cars and boats used in terrorist crimes and smuggling operations were also seized. Al Hamadi said that the public prosecution had completed the questioning of 25 defendants who were involved in the operations contributed to them, all sheltered fugitives. Other fugitives who were mentioned in the investigations or in the confessions of the defendants are still at large. The public prosecution leveled 16 charges in the defendants, including joining a terrorist group, training in the use of explosives and firearms to commit terrorist crimes, killing two police officers, attempting to kill police officers, and importing, smuggling and possession, explosives and weapons that may not be licensed in any way with the intention of using them in activities to disrupt public peace and order. They were also charged with causing damages, robbery, resisting law enforcement authorities, escaping from prison, following legal arrest and helping terrorist escapes and sheltering them. Al Hamadi said that only four of the defendants denied the charges while the others admitted to them. The investigations by the public prosecution included a reenactment of the crimes at the scenes and testimonies from several witnesses. The public prosecution remi reminded the defendants in the custody pending further investigations and referred them to the forensic doctors for the necessary medical examination. It also referred the seized items to technical experts for reports. The public prosecution is also in the process of gathering testimonies from other witnesses and questioning suspects mentioned in the confessions of the defendants. The boats and cars used in the incidents were confiscated. Al Hamadi said that the investigations by the public prosecution are going on through the day in order to finish all details and prepare the case documents. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. The Bahraini Turkish Committee held their joint meeting in Turkey, chaired by the Finance Minister Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Deputy Prime Minister of Turkey. The two sides expressed keenness to enhance and develop the commercial exchange, the economic cooperation, and increase investment opportunities. The two countries also signed an MOU in the civil services sector.